Hi, my name is Paola Martinelli from the Institute of Cancer Research at the Medical University in Vienna. I will present our recent publication about the role of the transcription factor GATA6 in pancreatic cancer. Most of this work was conducted at the CNIO, the Spanish National Cancer Research Center in Madrid, under the supervision of Professor Francisco Real, and it was then completed here in Vienna. All of this would have not been possible without the contribution of all our co-authors. Pancreatic cancer is a deadly disease for which no effective treatment is available. One of the big issues is that pancreatic tumors are very heterogeneous and we don't have a good biomarkers that predicts their response to therapy. So basically all patients are treated with very unspecific drugs which give only minor benefit. Recently, next generation sequencing was used uh, to classify pancreatic tumors based on their molecular phenotype. And this is potentially very important because it could guide uh, in the choice of treatment. In our study, we show that the transcription factor GATA6 is a major regulator of this molecular phenotype in pancreatic cancer. We had already shown that GATA6 suppresses uh, tumor initiation in the mouse pancreas, but its role in human tumors was still not clear. GATA6 is amplified in a subset of patients, which suggested that it could be an oncogene. However, these patients show much better outcome which is somehow counterintuitive. We believe that our work clarifies at the molecular level this apparent contradiction and supports a role of GATA6 as a tumor suppressor in pancreatic cancer. Our in vitro experiments show that GATA6 inhibits EMT, the epithelial to mesenchymal transition, which is important for tumor dissemination and metastasis. And the mechanism is rather unique. GATA6 activates epithelial genes and at the same time it also represses the mesenchymal program. And this action is both direct and indirect. There is no other transcription factor that has been shown to have such a dual role on the regulation of EMT. In patients, GATA6 can be lost and this is uh, associated with the expression of a basal-like uh, molecular phenotype which is very similar to what is observed in breast and bladder cancer. We believe that tumors from different organs somehow converge towards a common phenotype that is very plastic and probably allows tumor cells to adapt very easily to other organs and form metastasis. What is very interesting is that in contrast to what happens for the breast and the bladder, there are no basal cells in the normal pancreas. So the expression of this basal-like phenotype in pancreatic tumors is an example of transdifferentiation which we defined as epithelial to epithelial transition, or it is squared. Finally, we also confirmed that high levels of GATA6 uh, correlate with better outcome in patients, which was already reported. And we also show that patients with the lower levels of GATA6 respond worse to 5-FU-based uh, adjuvant chemotherapy. So GATA6 could indeed be used as a predictive biomarker to guide the choice of treatment. Thanks for listening. I hope you will enjoy reading our paper in GATT.